Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play War Tales. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 5, and we're at the tomb here. So we're going to try and explore it. We made an extra torch, and we need to give it to Alana has one, Jenna has one, and Dreyas does not have one. So torches, we are going to run into some enemies here. More importantly, we have some scholarly list stuff to do. You will need torches to light your way as you explore the tombs. If your light dies out, your troop will panic and flee the tomb. Which is not good. So this is a really neat way that they've done this. How we do tomb exploration. It's very much like old school games like Stone Keep. If you re ever remember that game. If you ever old enough like I am to have played it. These what we call grid based dungeon crawlers. It's kind of harkens back to that. I love that they have a light over where the mouse is. This is fantastic. I've never seen a game do this and this is just a fun little touch. So it's orange if you haven't explored it. So here we go. We're going to crawl into the tomb and there are three different ways to go and it shows you when you explore what it's going to cost you. So we have 15 flames right now because of our torches and it's going to cost us a little bit to explore. So we're going to go to the right first. And now in here, we can see there's a statue. The statue depicts a man called Dagon. Something about his posture makes you want to sing. And we don't have a bard. Bard gives you constant con and willpower if you need that. So there's Enlux, the new proficient bard. So who could it be? We have a blacksmith, a miner, another blacksmith, a cook, a tinker, a thief, an alchemist, and an alchemist. Um, Alana is our alchemist. Kira, the archer, is going to end up being our scholar. So the only person who's really viable for this is Manus. We don't need him as a blacksmith because Brienne is going to do it. So we can go here and we can say, hey, I want you to be the bard. It's going to grant him plus one constitution as well, which is not exactly a bad thing for him. He's going to get con one now, and then as he levels up, the bard goes into con and willpower. So both good things for him. We're going to confirm that. Press blank in time with the notes on each string to play the sheet music. Your reward will depend on the quality of performance. This is a lot like Guitar Hero. So adventures galore. So here we go. So you're just making sure to click those while they're in there. Little guitar hero ish going on, right? Oh, we missed one. I think moving the mouse. Oh, and there was a glitch out there. So they really have to fix that. Oh, and I missed a couple, so I'm not going to get what I wanted here. Your performance wasn't up to scratch. So, we're going to try it again. And see, the, the glitching on these is really annoying. Glitching on all these mini games, and it did it there again. I don't know what's up with that. Something in their renderer pipeline. I have to imagine that it's a piece of code in the background that's executing that's causing it to do that something okay so that time we hit them all I think there we go and he levels up as a bard your performance seems to have triggered something you have gained a fragment of precious item you have gained the artist codex chapter one and these are things that your scholar can uh, Restore if you have a lecture, but you won't get that until you get a scholar. And now here's the important thing. There's a symbol right here on the wall. So um, this is really cool. Because this is a different symbol every single time. So I'm going to make a note of this. So previously in the previous game that I had played for myself, not on YouTube, I had got this far and I had different symbols. So this is cool. They're doing something here with the graphics overlaid on this. They're, they're, they're randomizing it. So every time it's going to be different, which is really neat. There's nothing else in here that I can see that there's a turn back 
There's nothing else. But that symbol is important. Remember that. So we're going to turn back for one. And then we're going to go explore this for three. Or do we want to go up here? I think we can get a scholar if we go up here. We need more torches, though. We're going to have to go back out and get some. You feel a warm breath behind your shoulder. So there's a level two creeper, a mole rat, and a creeper. These guys will run, though, if you kill one of them. They tend to get a little scared. So, of course, you can't see them. Because it's dark. You can only see where people have torches. And we've already used enough light up from one torch that now we only have the two. So, what we want to do is... It's really hard to figure out where everybody is. Of course. Harim, Manus. So... Manus and Jadruk. Uh, I, this looks like an area where we're not going to see anybody, so I might swap this. Move you over there. Brianna. Okay, let's do this. So he's just going to... So there's got to be somebody like right here, right? Is there something right here? Oh, maybe, maybe I can't tell. Nope, I can't. Well, that's a bummer. Trying to see if there's anybody here. So is there something? There's something there. I don't know what it is. Oh, there we go. There's one right there. And so that it won't do a lot of damage, we'll spend a point and make it weaker. And there's a rat coming. But see, since they're in the dark, if you click on them, it won't show you where they're at. So, smart way to do it. So now there's Brianna, and we, what we can do is we can have Manus come over there and stab it. Or Harim. He's going to come over here because he can earn a Valor Point by doing this. And killing this thing might be enough to make the rest of them run. Nope, it's not. Okay. So, I don't know. Do we want to spend any points doing this? I don't think it would make a lot of sense to do. Let's do this. I'm just going to get a point, and the rat's going to come from somewhere. I got... Oh. Wherever the rat moved to, it didn't move too much. We're going to move these people around a little bit. So there's something here. Oh, it's a stone column. Okay. And another stone column. Bring some light in there. And that's as much as that person can do. So we're going to end that person's turn. And then I got my archer. So you're the last one with light. Oh, there we go. There's a rat. Okay, I'm going to try to get some light over here in this area. You can use the torch as a weapon, but we don't want to do that. So then what I can do is, it's facing off against me, and we have a, a dark creeper that's going to come in. Um, but we can also spend a point and get away. I don't think it'll be necessary, though. Where's the creeper going to come from? Alright, this person, Jenna, why don't you come up here and finish this one off? No, 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 no. I don't know why I'm always pressing that button by accident, but I am. We could we could grab this critter, this mole rat. I'm just gonna kill it though. <clears throat> you can capture creatures. Yes, yeah, so they've all decided to flee, which is great. I don't there's nothing valuable on them that I have found, so it's just garbage like this. Human remains. <laughs> we're not gonna we're not gonna use this. Your companions are tired, it would be advised to rest before pushing on. So we're here. We can, we can go past the rubble, and here is another symbol. It's red, and it's also a Z, so we're going to make a note of that. All right, we've notated that, and now there's there's this, inspect. And I think this might be where we get our scholar for the first time. Is right here on this symbol. You have discovered the rune performance. And then there's nothing else in here that I could ever find the one time I played it. So there's that. Leave that. It says we need to rest. So if we camp here, what's our risk? What's our risk for camping? We got Bill the Pony. Do 
we have a hitching post yet? I don't think we were able to make it, were we? Hitching post is still missing what? Rope. Oh, we should have stole some of that guy's rope. Okay, can we get out of here without camping then? It might be wiser to camp outside. Let's go back. And then out. And exit. We're going to talk to this guy again. We're going to get some more torches. We're going to get a piece of his rope. I am going to steal myself. I'm going to take your rope. And then I'm going to buy... How much to buy all these torches? 243. Wow. Okay. Well, I have two torches. I'm going to buy one, one, two, three. I'm going to buy that many. That's enough. Okay, we're going to camp here. We have to exit all the way. Camp here. Oh, what was going on there? Something nearby. So the hitching post we can make now. Do this. Rope. Wood, salt, they gain 10 car carrying capacity. This helps our tinker move forward. So you can set this up somewhere. I'm going to take this and move it over here. And the ponies are there. Yay. Ponies are happy. So you sit down. You sit down. Each one of those people earns one of these points. Just want to do that. Do we have anything else that we can cook? Harim. Medium rare mutton. Yes, please. Just cook it all, baby. That's why we had all that salt. There we go. That's why we did that. And now we can go here. and we can You want to get rid of the carcasses because they're pretty heavy. Look, they're, they're a weight of two. Which is quite a bit heavier than everything else. So, And a rat. An individual rat. So eat those things first. Take one of those. What is this? These are worth. Let's do some fruit. And let's remove the rat. We'll save it for later. It's 80% danger, so something's probably going to happen. Yep. Henchmen and raiders. Well, they do not know who we are, mighty band of adventurers. Even though we're surprised. There's five of them, and they're all clustered together here. They have no archers, which is great. The first one to act is going to be this bozo over here. So, and there's a trap here, and there's a pole here. Oh, awesome. Manus, you're going to lock up this first guy who wants to move. Jadruk, what is it going to cost you? What are you going to get? You're going to deal 14 damage for that. Okay. We'll see if he can throw that that far. Jen is going to kind of move over. Oh, and there's one right there, too. Okay, hold on. Manus is going to stay there, but... Jadruk might be better off throwing this one. And Harim. Harim is going to want to stand next to somebody. There's Alana. She's still got her torch out. We should have put that away. Brienne. This person. Okay, so who's the first to move? That guy. Mm. And I only get one, huh, to move. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me think about this here. I'm going to take the archer, put him over here, and what I'm going to do is shoot an arrow to push this guy over closer to here, which means that I want Brianna to come over here and slice these guys. He's going to run for one of these two people here. So Dreyas is going to come over here, and Hadim is going to be over here. Actually, we're going to do, yeah, like that. Jadruk's going to throw one of these... Kira's going to shoot from there. Alana's going to be there. I'm not going to get to throw this one in. It's pretty far away. This guy's going to run towards somebody. So Jadruk's going to be able to take this spear throw and hit this guy with it. And I think that's going to be pretty good. So Archer, what you're going to want to do is like just get close enough to shoot. Oh, and it did, it's not the push kind. Okay, I should have looked at that more closely. Just going to move over here then. I don't want these two getting crushed by that guy, but that's probably what's going to happen. Okay, end turn. Yeah, he's going to run over here. It's fine. 
Dreadus, what's what you, you spear throw five damage to the target? Not worth it. So who's gonna move next? That guy. Okay, then what I'm gonna have him do is poke him away, push him away so he's disengaged. Push him away so he's disengaged, and then I want him to move over here to be next to his ally or here. This place might be better. I don't know which one I want to do. Thanks. Um, let's do this. I'm going to move him there and go like this. Okay. That's the end of his turn. Now, the next person it, that's going to act is going to be that guy. So, it would be best if Manus went up there and locked him up. Let's go up here. You're now a one-handed guy who can lock people up, which has got one-handed guy with a shield and he can use protection so he can gain deflection so he's going to take 70% less damage from this guy for a whopping 2 damage which is going to be great so now who's going to act next that guy in the middle and then that person and then that person I do not want my archer getting hit Jadruk Okay, I'm going to have you move over here, and you're going to use the spear throw. Oh, can you, can you get there? No, you can't. Oh, bummer. He can't quite reach that guy with the spear throw. Oh, rats. Okay. Oh, well, then I basically wasted his turn. I'm going to leave him there, then. He can spear throw someone. Who's the next guy that's moving? That guy. Is he going to come here? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Alana. I think the thing to do is to protect the rangers. So I'm just going to move her here like this. Okay, and he's coming over here. Great. Because this is going to be... I can get a double whammy out of Brianna from there. So next is going to be that person way back there who's either going to go over here or over here. And then that guy who's definitely going to go over here. Okay. What's going to happen is this guy's going to come. He's going to do a lot of damage. He's going to hurt Ilana. But Dreadus can throw a smoke bomb, which will help her disengage and get away and also do some damage to that character. So I'm not too feeling too bad about that. So I think the thing to do have this character come over here and do that poison him stop gain a valor point okay and then hmm, I was hoping to wait an extra turn until this person came over what do I have I have I have two characters left. I have this one and this one. I really don't want to engage that guy. I think what I'd rather do is run around here and do this. Surrounded. Lots of damage. He can spend a point to kill this guy. Which is nice. Because now everybody's galvanized. Then he can move a little bit more out of the way because this person's coming. And he's going to target. Okay. Makes total sense. This person then is going to come around here. Brienne. You got to take another step in this direction. Now you can get them both. Oh my god. She's a menace. Okay. Well, I'm just going to leave her there. I'm not going to spend the points. Can she taunt this guy? She's not close enough. you got to be right next to him. He's going to come after her. We knew this was going to happen. Oh, he's going to go. Oh, he's going to target. Oh, great. They don't get hit. Oh, man. That's awesome. Okay, who's going to move first? This guy, the henchman? He's probably going to turn around because he knows that Hattie is doing this. So... 
I think the thing to do is lock him up with Manus. Yeah, I think that's the... Oh. Jadruk can throw. But he's not close enough to throw. So let's grab Manus and go lock him up. Like... Like so. Okay, that was nice. We can double slice him out of, out of here. He's dead. No, no, no. We're taking their stuff. <laughs> we're not done yet. Yeah. Okay, who moves next? This guy, the raider, moves next. Okay. She will not incur... She will not get him locked up. She'll just be able to strike him. Yep. So if she stays there, she earns a point, and he's still facing that direction. And now she can move away. Don't hit your own person. There you go. Oh, we may be able to actually capture him. Cancel. Okay. What is this? Spear wall. Oh. Click to end spear wall and start the machine's turn. No, I don't necessarily want to do that. I want to do this. I want to kill this person over here. So, Brianna can slash him and probably kill him. So the question is, can one of these get around? From behind and capture this person. Nope, it doesn't look like it. So maybe... Maybe they're a leader type or they're just dead. Alright, so who's this? We only got the one guy left over here? Okay. Wanna go over here? I'm just gonna see if she can. She can't capture him. Okay. Well, dead works. Nobody left. Loot that. Gonna, I'm not gonna repair. Did who took? How much is his repair? Oh, five of twelve. Okay, and what's his? Twelve and nineteen. We'll repair all that. Continue. Happy. Got a couple of repair tools back. Manus levels up. Let's see. So. Every time the unit cages in combat, we've got that. And level five is when they get their next thing. Willpower going up plus plus is good. We want to get him to 15. So that's great. So now we're done. And we can go back to Tombland. So, before we go inside, more torches. You got a torch. Wait a and you need a torch. And. You need a torch. Okay. Let's buy one more torch. Oh, I just clicked on the entrance anyways. Okay, we'll go in here. Borrow one to get in there. We'll go back into this room here. This is the next place you can go rubble. Your companion could just about slip through the small opening in the rubble. You can slip through or you can break it. We have a miner, so we might as well do that. I don't know if we actually get any stone out of this or not. Glitching me. Not gonna happen. Yeah, we got two iron ore out of it. Nice. Okay. And we've got this symbol. And we creep along a little forward to the next part of the tomb and we're here. So, there's a lockpick portion. Great for our thief. Trying to trick me. So we got the first one. Don't want to have to go outside and tinker a bunch more of these. There we go. No longer gets caught when discovered stealing. Wow. And we get these. Sapphire and the second book, Artist Codex, chapter two. And then, in order to proceed, 
there's a person here. You can get this, another torch, two of them, which is great. A scalpel, and then this, the crude key. So we need to keep in mind when we see places that have a key, we need to make a note of it so we know which key to use where. So here is this, uh, and we got the new profession scholar. So we're gonna go to Kira, and she can be the scholar. So you had to get to this door to start the scholar, scholar profession. And what it's asking you to do is, um, gosh, what, what was the solution for this? I think it's the Z's because we've already seen two of the Z's. Or what was it? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, never mind. Leave. It's the colors. So we have two of them. We have a red Z and a blue Z, and we don't know what the gold one is. So before we go anywhere, we're going to backtrack. Turn back. See, there's our gold one. We're going to turn this off. We're going to backtrack here. We're going to go to this over here. Advance cautiously. Use light three. Yes. We reach the other side and we come to here. Now, this is kind of the suck. This puzzle sucks. I hate these puzzles. All right. So here's our novice scholar. It's the slide around puzzle. So I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to make you suffer through this. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to get this done and then we'll come back. All right, we moved the pieces around and we're down to the last piece here. So click. There it goes. We fire that off. You discovered the rune mountain, it says. So that's done. And you can inspect it. That's all you can really do. Click on it. There's nothing else. So I think that nets your your scholar a few points and there's nothing else oh and here's the rune this is what we were looking for so the gold one is this circle thing i like to call it like an eye but it's a it's like a circular tie fighter with three with three wings so let's make a note of that all right so now we know that we can go back to the main room back into here borrow one here we're at 26 when we hit this we take our scholar and we can say okay we know that the blue one is the z and we know that the red one is also a Z. Remember, they're different every time you play the game, so that's really cool. And then this is the circle. Right there. And then you click the button. And it's correct. Kira has become a scholar apprentice, solving a puzzle in the Tomb of the Ancients. The mechanism clicks to place and the door opens. And you can proceed. Yeah, so that's the nice part. And we've exhausted everything else in here except for... Oh, last time I was able to click on this tomb guy over here. Interesting, not this time. Oh, there's this. We get this. A chisel. This could have been the tool of a gifted sculptor. It's a backpack accessory. Has a chance of finding sandstone when mining. Fragments of a small item. Only the scattered pieces. A scholar could repair this, so that's nice. Who's our miner again? Is it Manus? No, it's... It is Jadruk. He's going to get this backpack accessory. It goes in this slot. You can get two accessories, so it's pretty cool. All right. Now we'll move forward. And we're going to have to fight. The atmosphere in the halls of stranger companions can sense eyes watching them. A pot breaks. Creatures lunge out of the darkness. Creepers. So we will fight. Very cool. Okay. So we have, we can either put all of our friends over on one side or the other. One, two, three, four, five. There's five slots over there, so let's do that. How do you... Okay. You want to have some light in such a way. Let's see what the heck is going on here. Okay, let's swap one person here. We're going to swap you. You, Manus, you can go there. Okay. So there's some kind of pottery over here. Well, where are they? It's very, very dark, isn't it? Let's have Alana start by walking. So there we go. Right there. So she found someone. Let's go have her do this. She's going to run up here. Oh, and she sees the other ones. This is great. 
Okay, and who's going to get a move next? A rat that doesn't know where to move to. Okay. So she's going to stab the heck out of this guy. Poison. And then she's going to end her turn. This rat from the darkness is going to move somewhere. So now I need... Jadruk. Brianna, you're the one I want. Come down here. I don't know if she can get all three of them. I don't think so. So maybe just go here. Yeah, because I don't think it's possible for her to hit everybody. So she's going to spend some points and kibosh these guys. Everyone is galvanized because we got that first kill. And she's going to take this guy out and they might start running now. Yep. So, okay, let them go. And we'll take everything here except for this corpse. Ooh. And one thing I'm curious about is if there is a possible... Oh, here's the tomb I was thinking of. Okay. There's a tomb here. So, light. There's the turn backs part. I'm going to get our light over here so we can see. The tomb is the only thing that I can see so far. The light is, is a little weird. It's not bouncing off the walls here, so it's making it hard. We're going to grab this tomb break. We're going to grab our apprentice here. I really like the way these tombs are done. He gets 13 sandstone while he does that. So now we can inspect it, and we're going to get the third book, which is really cool, and then another relic. A scholar could restore this. So there we go. The treasure of the ancients has been has been done. You can see the green check. We're done with the ruins explored. So we can turn back, and we can go back out this way, and leave fully. And we're done. The Tomb of the Ancients is done. How awesome is that? Okay. That is really cool. Up here in the snowy mountaintops. So what's neat about this is we go down to our paths. And you can see we've collect 50 resources. So we get a Reaper from that. Encyclopedia. Spend 5 knowledge points. We get some from that. You want to get Mysteries and Wisdom up to 4. So you can see what you have to do. Craft 5 Tier 1 Alchemy Recipes. So that's your healing potion. So if we go heal some more of that, that'd be great. Discover 5 locations. So if we get 2 more of those, we'll get another point there. Use 3 oils. We need to start crafting those and using those. Um, throw 10 bombs. Catch 10 animals. We should be doing this. This is a really easy way to get some points. And then over here, good prayer. Rest 10 times with no wage left to pay. So, takes care of those. If we start to move those up, I'm going to save the game. And you can see when you save, it tells you combat difficulty, survival difficulty, save mode, limited region locked exploration. So, it's, it's all... Just very well done. Let you know exactly what kind of game we're dealing with here. And your saves. So nothing else up here. I think we're safe to start heading out. What we have left on the map then is up here and up there. So we're going to march down here and head this way. The game has a shocking lack of music. So what I may do is... While we were exploring the tomb, I may embed my own tombs in that section. So that we have some. Sheepfold. And again, these locations we haven't visited yet. And I'm of the mind to say don't visit them. Until you have a, a contract from Tam. So up in this direction, and then on our compendium, we do have two points. I like to always leave one point available in case I need something for an emergency and like, oh, I need that. Uh, I thought it was interesting. Someone in the comments on the first episode was like, run is the first thing I take. Sometimes it's better not to not to fight. And I'm thinking, I haven't used run yet in any of my playthroughs. <laughs> not me. Okay, apprentice. So this will give us two-handed stuff. 
Um, there's two handed or you can start getting the reinforced plate armor and things like that. I'm of the mind to start getting the armor. That way we can start seeing what we're going to need to gather for resources for that. So let's do that. Thunderstorms. Rain. Wealthy farm again. Just leave it alone. A quest will take you here. Oh, there is some wood down here. Though. We're going to grab that. There are a couple places in the game where you can actually cut wood. And that will get you a wood cutter. And that ends up being, I think, my 10th team member. So what are we looking at here? Right up here. Yep. Go up this way. So up here, we're also going to run into the hunters. Now, you'll notice that over here, since we've been killing animals, we've been collecting these, these fangs. Uh, the hunters trade in fangs. That's what they use. And their, their stuff is not cheap. It's like 100 fangs for something or 200 fangs for something so you definitely want to take out the wildlife whenever you get a chance one of the few places in the world where you can see a scene There's some goons up there oh and we're getting tired well let's go down here and just rest then all right my friends oh and we got to level up for alana very nice she levels up as a ranger so here you go. Oh yeah, she's a, she's our other stabby stabby. So the question is, do we want to have two strategists and a cutthroat? And she did. Here's the thing: what I probably should have done with her, and I will do this on the next time I'm playing. Valorous victory. Every time this unit kills an enemy, you gain one. I think if you pair that with cutthroat, that's a pretty good pairing. Since we didn't, I think having an extra strategist is probably a good idea. Poison um, applies four poison to all units in the area. Poison vial. Um, I'm not entirely sure that that's worth it. I think I'd just rather have more of these smoke screens because these are really useful. So we're going to play through the game like this. But I like the idea of pairing Valorious Victory with Frenzy for a particular rogue. I don't think you should have all your Rangers rogues be all the same. Some versatility is probably good. So I'm just over here making a note here on my... Excel spreadsheet. Um, and so we're done with the tomb, so we can take all these out. We don't need the flamies anymore. Dratus, get rid of yours. We can start putting either guards back on, throwing sickles for guard skill or more for crit damage. Probably save the guard for later. We have a bunch of throwing daggers. Don't we, didn't we have some throwing daggers? Right here. There we go. These add to their crit chance, which is kind of nice. So Alana, yeah, we did that, and now this critical hit, since it's doubled, I'm gonna say heck yeah, and that would have been even nicer. I mean, to make her a high crit machine, do as a cutthroat instead of a strategist, and do Valorous Victory would have been really nice. But um, maybe we'll do that with another rogue that we'll pick up along the way. That might be nice. We might pick up one more. After a while, you can start to make enough money that you can have a pretty sizable team. So. There's kind of like no reason not to that I can figure out. Okay, what else can we make here? Oh, and we can make a tent. Assigned companion generates plus one during each rest, which is really nice. So we're going to craft that. Open that up. Again, another reason to kind of have a big team. So... You can assign her to that. It takes one of four. Puts her little head there. So you can see that it's going to generate these. This generates happiness during each rest. So if we want... Remember, bonus happiness turns into influence, which is kind of nice. So that's one of the things we want to do with that. And then what is this? Dexterity plus two bow. Kira, what kind of bow are you using? Oh, oh, we accidentally removed it from her hand, that's why. <laughs> that would have been bad when we got in a fight. Oh, that would have been so bad. Okay. Ooh. So there's that. I don't think there's anything. Oh, and then the one thing I haven't done here is show the strategy table. Um, yeah, we need to pick one of these. 
strategy table support increased bonus granted by supported characters increase the debuff applied by surrounded or damage of attacks of opportunity increased by 10 percent we're gonna take this because this is something that i think you can change these at any point in time that you want on the strategy table the, the surrounded thing requires three people to get around a unit and the way i play the game and the way i've been playing it that just doesn't happen very often but this because of the way i play with the rangers this happens quite a bit so we're going to add that and then with we can make bread we can make two bread so our cook and let's see what he's doing how do you how are you oh you're almost ready to make the next level of cook very nice all right so get rid of that carcass if we can because these things again they start to weigh down that carcass is really heavy That'll help feed everybody. And a couple of mushrooms, and we're ready to go. Average amount of damage, average amount of risk here, 40%. We made it. Happiness increased by plus four. Your troops' happiness is 15. Your companions are happy, and you've gained plus 20 of these. So I really think that this is worth it. That This influence is so useful in a bunch of different situations. I feel like it's really smart to have it. I'm finally starting to get the hang of being a scholar. If I ever leave this group, I'll know how to make a living. Rejoice. She gets plus 16 XP as a scholar, which I think is really important. So I'm going to grab that. Remember, we want to get her up and we want to get this up. So innovative craftsmanship earns you that. And then boss, pay five wages on time. So we'll keep doing that. Yep. Let's keep earning those. And then this one here, famous. So... Keep running. So I love the way they did this. This is just fantastic. Love it. All right. Let's save the game. I love it. I really want them to just do an F5 for a quick save on that deal. I think that would be really cool. It won't let you go over any kind of terrain that looks even remotely difficult. So, But we're going to grab this because we need it for our alchemist. Those are... Are those the guys we want to fight, or are they just a group of grunts? Are they the ones we want? Maybe, but I don't think so. I think they would have a, a gold symbol above them, so we might want to try to avoid those guys while we go get the other ones. Although, it's always great to get extra loot from these bozos. And there's like, what, five of them? If we could surprise them, that'd be great. During your next rest, you'll have to pay your companions. There we go. There's the bozos we wanted. They're over here. These guys are trailing us. Get over here and surprise them. Yes! Alright. They have eight people and two bombers. So that's the thing we have to worry about. Those are archers that shoot up in the air and have... Comes down as fire. So we want to avoid that. Although there are creative ways to use that. So, what do we have going at the music quit on this game? It's the first time I've really seen it do that. So I will try to put some music in for this. So there's a bunch of mud here, which could make it really interesting for getting rid of those guys. But here's, here's the two bombers. Oh, wow. We're in the mud no matter where we start. Oh, wow. Really? <clears throat> well, this is problematic there's no spears but there are traps the traps do minor damage i really wish they did a little bit more yeah this is not helpful is it oh man bummer okay well hmm. this sucks because to get to these guys is going to be really hard to do who's going to go first that archer's actually going to go first so we need someone that could bum rush him and get up there and then who's gonna go next? This henchman, and then that bomber. So the two bombers are gonna go early. Oh man, okay. Well, that sucks. Brianna could get up here and slice and dice one of them, but that's not gonna be enough. Harim can get up here and kind of 
maybe poke one of those guys in the direction of the others. Who has the most speed? Who's going to run the fastest? Nimble, dexterity, mm. movement 10. Okay, give me my team back. Movement 10, Harim. It's a 13. She's a 14. It's not too bad. Brandon's movement is a 12. Okay. Dreyas's movement is also a 14. Manus's is a 14. I'd like to get Manus in there and get him locked up on someone. That would be good. And Jadruk, who's at a 10, that's not great. Okay. So, you, my friend, you gotta come in here. Harim's not bad. Alana is bad, so she needs to be out of the way. So here's the only other thing that we really can do. We could try to move everybody over here and have them come through the mud. The problem is going to be the archers. Because they can shoot. And that sucks. But it's possible for us to at least force them to come fight us on our terms. Somewhat. The problem is we can't go first. Well, now, hold on. We do have an archer of our own. That could force... Who's going to go first? Their archer is going to go first. That guy. We get in there. If Can we rush up on him? Alana, you're clearly not going to be the person to do that. So, Jenna, Jadruk, Harim... You've got a 14. It's 14 movement, right? Yeah. Okay. So if I switch you with... Can I just switch people straight up? Yes, I can. Okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. And yours is what? Jadruk, you have this. Okay. Jenna... Stratus, the archer. Brianna needs to be kind of like right there. And then our last one down here. Okay. This might work. Maybe. This is going to be ugly. Man, it's my friend. Yeah, you got to get up here and get on this archer. Because that's the one who's going to act first, right? I want to make sure. Yep, I got it correct. I don't want to get it wrong. So, run up here. Through the mud. This is why I like having Swordsman with the shield, because they have this protection damage taken on the next attack. Reduced by 70. Actually, I shouldn't have done that because she's the one who's going to attack next. I shouldn't have done that. She's not going to do any damage when she attacks anyways. So instead of, instead of doing two, she does one. I should have saved that Valor point. So now the next person is going to have to walk all the way through here and engage them, which is totally fine. What I want to do is get... Jadruk in here and either get him he can't he can't move very far can he man what about Harim Harim can get far enough to get up here and hit this guy okay okay remember he's got a pretty good he's got a pretty handy skill like that so that's it for him. And here comes this person. Everybody's having a hard time with this mud ball. Dreadus, how far can you go? Not as far as you want to. He's going to shoot flames on someone. Get on Dreadus on our captain. That's all right. Well then, this character needs to move. Gotta get everybody moved. They were gonna start us in mud no matter what, weren't they? That's a real disadvantage. And now he's engaged. And away, he used one of those axes that forced him off of there. Off that engagement. 
Okay. If you're adjacent to a person who's on fire, you catch on fire. So... I don't really want that to happen. So I'm going to move him there and then... Like, yeah, one more slot. There you go, bud. That's as good as it goes. I probably should have done this a little differently. Actually, now that I think about it. Well, we're going to roll with this and see what we can do. The mud sucks. There's just nothing we can do about that. We sh I was thinking we shouldn't have gone after that archer and we should have just waited for everybody to come to us. But then it would have given the archers free reign. The only other thing we could have done is try to move everybody in this direction and make them come through the mud. But I don't think that that would have worked very well either. I don't think we have any... This is, this is a case of no good solutions. But now we have a surrounded character that could get pummeled and I don't like that idea at all. So we may have to restart this. Lots of people targeting him. Okay, who's gonna go next? The archer and the archer. Yeah, of course. Hmm. Hmm. Harim isn't really suited to that. Brianna, you can get up there and swipe a lot of people almost. Almost, I say, not quite. She can't quite get far enough. She could get all three of these guys if she could get in a little further there. Dreda's. Okay. How close is Dreda's? Dreda's is going to get a guy out of there. It's not going to stop him from getting shot at, but... Remember, you have this magic device. There we go. That's what we needed, buddy. Okay. He's going to get a free shot at someone. Two people cluster together, so they're both going to get on fire, which stinks. It's stinky, and now who's the next one? That one. Yeah, so. You have to get out of there. And the best thing to do is run all the way around and engage this person so they can't do flames. There we go. So, after two hits, you can do this. I'd kind of like to do it against that person. But, but is it going to get everybody? Yeah, it is. Oh, it swipes. That's awesome. Okay, so now now it's a smart time to use protection on him. But the next big hit's going to be reduced by 70%. Cool. And then the next person to go is going to be that henchman. And then the next one that goes, so these guys back here. Okay. Now, does that give us any more room to maneuver Brianna? Oh, look, she can be right up here. Unfortunately, she'd get hit there. I don't like the idea of her getting hit there. And she only has one point right now. So more than anything, we just need to get her in position for next turn. We got one Valor point, so we gotta get some people earning some Valor points. Reduce down to three, very nice. And he earns a Valor point, that's great. Okay. Now you need to stand next to somebody and hit somebody. question is who do you want to do I think let's move you up to here and push this guy in that direction oh you do, you can't push though can you oh yeah you can kind of that's nice he's gonna be right in the way of this guy when he swings <laughs> nice okay uh do I want to have you stop anybody coming when who's gonna be next that person who's clearly gonna go after Manus this person who may come forward okay let's do it Bingo. Yep, he's gonna go. He'll get a pretty good swipe. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now, yeah. What do we want to do here? Can you get past is the question. You can't. It's still... It's still trouble. Okay. 
Yep, and you can't move now. He can target, but he can't move. So who's going to go next? That guy. And then this guy. Okay. So... Dreyus is gone. Hadim has gone. Brienne's gone. Everybody else that's left to go is over here. And she can't get very far because she's in the way. Okay. Um, if I end my turn over here by this guy. Come on. Why are you not letting me have that spot? It says I can have that spot. Is it because of the mud? I'm going to have her run over there. If she can get one more spot closer. Nope, she's out. Okay. <clears throat> she's one more spot closer. She could have got something. Alright, just leave her there then. Takes a slice out of Dratus. She can't go very far at all. He's going to turn and target, which makes total sense. And you are going to run down here and not get smacked by that. And then you're going to dash. I don't want to get snipped by this thing, and I didn't. Good. So let's do this. Poison him. We're going to earn a point. He hits his own Kai. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, who's going to go next? That person's going to go first. Um, oh, wow, he's going to go first. But I get two people to go first. So here's Harim. Here's Brienne. There's this person, that person, and this person. Okay, Brienne, can you... You can't because there's too many people in the way. You can't get in here. I need Harim to move. That gets him off his game. And then if you will just move to here, that's a good spot to reinforce. Move over there, earn a point. Good. Okay, now Brianna, where do you want to go? How many people can you touch from here? One. That's not good enough. What about here? Okay, let's do that. Let's do this first, though. Okay. That's nice, and she earns a point for killing somebody. Now, if she scoots a little bit... She hits him. Can she scoot one more to the left and get both of them? Yes! Go, honey. That's very nice. And Sharon's another point. Oh my god, she's awesome. And then I can move her somewhere else if I need to. Like here. To help gang up on this guy. Oh, I'm, Dreyus is coming very close to dying here. This guy is going to attack there. So... You have a chance to do a couple different things here. Actually, I got an idea for Dratus. Yeah, I think that might work nicely. Dratus, Alana, Jenna. So hold on, let's do this. She's going to move in here and we're going to surround this guy. Oh, and we can manacle him. She missed. Which is too bad. Hmm. Three to seven. And how much has he got left? Twelve. Or she can use this. But she needs a point for smoke screen too. Seven to nine damage to the target if they have less than 50% health. And the unit gains fury, which the damage on the next attack is increased. Hmm. Is that worth it right now? Or should I just do this? I could try to hit this guy too. Or him. 
Hmm. Not as worried about him because he's gone. There's that guy over there and that guy over there and this guy over here. This bozo over here. Hmm. Well, let's do this first. I want to do this. I'm going to get both of these people here. This is going to kill him. Smoke screen. Drenus is going to kill him. Yep. Okay, that was the easy. And he takes a big bite out of crime over there. That's great. So then if she just wants to add damage so that we can help kill him next turn. And then if I want to put her right here, she becomes next to this guy and is not engaged. Yes, earn a point, darling. Oh my gosh, okay. Armor's gone on that person, but he earns a point because he's engaged again. <laughs> engaged again. So Dratus hasn't gone yet. <laughs> so he can toss a coin at his Witcher. And then he can galvanize troops. He can do a bunch of stuff here. Let's go... Is it, can he get closer over there or over here? I'm trying to figure out what the best thing is. All right, so if he galvanize, he can galvanize three people there, which earns him a bunch of points, which is really freaking awesome. And then he's gonna throw this, so he can get another free attack of opportunity, <laughs> which is incredible. And then he can do this. Is he close enough to anybody? Oh, no. Is he not? Where, where does he need to move to? Oh, right here. He can go over here and maybe finish this guy off. Oh, really close. Oh, and he can actually finish him off. Oh, my God. He's a menace. And then stand over here to get a point for standing next to this guy. Oh, my God. The combinations in this game are so awesome. Oh my lord. It is so cool. Who's going to go next? The archer. Okay. <laughs> the archer's going to go next. Yeah. Except he's not. <laughs> she's going to go over here. And she's going to toss her ball. Which is going to give him another attack of opportunity. Oh my god. And then she's going to take this out on him. Can she, can she not get him? Okay, she's going to spend a point to go behind him. And that puts her right there. And now she's engaged and he can't shoot anybody in the air anymore. Oh my gosh. That was awesome. So now, that's that guy and I still got a turn to go here. Um, who's left on my side? I got one, two, three players left. I got Jad Druk, but he can't get over there close enough. What I really need to do is make sure this person is safe. So. Okay. He earns another point. And then protection from the next attack. And then the end his turn. This person can punch and that's it. And then I've got two people to go. All right, Jad Druk. You can move over here. I don't think he can attack from an angle. He can't. And he can't taunt that guy from there. So all he can do is take his turn. And then she doesn't have a lot of range at all. We gotta get some points put into that for her. She's got nobody she can shoot. He's gonna set up, which is fine. End of his turn. Okay, who's gonna go first? Which guy? The... The... The archeress? Okay, great. Okay, well in that case... What do I have? I have Jenna here. <laughs> Let's start with Jenna and get her out of the way. Toss. So, two people here. Stab. Finish. <laughs> That's really nice. Everybody's galvanized. Now... I can either have her attack this guy. He's the next. No, this guy goes next. Let's have her go over here. And she can't capture that guy. Okay, then just kill him. He's dead. Uh, where else can we have her move to now? Now we can have her move. 
I can have her pick up a point by moving next to this guy. I'm pretty confident that we can kill him before he gets to go. So I'm going to leave her there and earn a point. Now, there we go. Darling. Here we go. It's, it's your time to shine. Oh my god. She just sliced him. No, they're not allowed to flee. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, I think what I want to do here is let's taunt him. So now he has to be on her. And then what I'd like to do is how much has he got left? 16. What's this do for damage? 18 to 23. Jenna has gone. Harim can do eight to nine and he won't knock the target back. Oh, but he can't get around there. Alana, you can't get over there either. Nobody can. Okay. Manus, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to move over here and I am not going to have you do anything. And then I'm going to see if Harim can get over here. This guy's trapped. He's surrounded. This is going to do a little extra damage, which is bad, but if he doesn't kill him, then can he do this? You can only use... Oh, he can only use one base action. Okay, so move him over here. Earn a point. And now you're going to wander over here. Behind this person. And you're going to grab him. Oh my god. That was so much fun. Oh, holy hell. That was awesome. I like using all of the skills and the, the combos and... Oh... That was so much fun. Oh my gosh. And was that the group we needed? No, they're still here. Okay. Well, we're an hour and... S oh, there they are. They're right there. Okay, we're an hour and six minutes into this episode. So here's what I'm going to do is leave it here. Save it. Folks. I'm so excited. This has been so much fun. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, hopefully I came up with some score for this because the music managed to to quit on this um, so I'll do that on this episode and I will see you all next time as always if you dig it give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel leave your questions and comments down below consider supporting my patreon which is in the description below and I'll see you next time thanks for watching everybody